I am Kat Blitz. So welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to review this amazing Bible, you all. This was a sweet, special, an amazing gift from one of my sweet sisters, Mare. She did um, gift me this a while back and I have loved it, you all. As soon as I opened it up, I seen the pictures that were inside and the paper, the paper, paper, paper is amazing. I wanted and I knew exactly the rebind I wanted to do for this Bible. Um, and I, I talked to her about it. I told her about it. And just the, the type of leather I want to use and the style that I want to do for it, I really have to save up for it because it's going to be quite a bit of money. It's literally, it literally when I get done with it, it's going to be the most expensive Bible in my collection. No joke. But um, I have put, put it off put off because I was just going to review it after I did the whole um like rebind and everything but I've put it off for enough and I want to show you guys so thank you thank you thank you so much Mare for just being patient and allowing me just to I was going to wait and do the review or do the rebind but you know we've we've talked we've <laughs> discussed it all so check out this amazing bible And just wait until I show you the goodies inside. Okay. So this is, now this is just the, um, the, the sleep, sleep cover, dust cover, however you want to say that. So it is, it is a hard cover edition. That's why I wanted to get a rebind because this cover does not do this Bible justice. It does not. It, I mean, I wish they would have done something better because the inside is woo wee. That's why I was like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to show how amazing this Bible is, but I just don't have the money for it yet. So my sweet sister, Mare, this is the title page or the presentation page. This is the title page. Oh, it is, it's white pages. It's a hardcover. It is my sewn. I've got to give you all the specs, you know, here is the copyright page. All right, we got the table of contents. Now, what is different about this Bible, they have the how to use and how to read the Bible in the back of the Bible and not at the beginning of the Bible. So that was kind of different. I wish all that stuff was up front. That's what I have marked back there. Now we have the introduction to the Orthodox Study Bible. Now, I'm not Catholic, but I love, 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 love Catholic Bibles. I love reading through the Apocrypha. I, I just, I love everything about it. Overview of the books of the Bible. So it tells you a little bit about the overview. Just the print, you guys. And I cannot explain this paper to you. This paper is amazing. The print font that they decided to go with is just, it's beautiful. This is the introduction to the Orthodox Church. So we got a lot of information in the back. Maybe that's why they didn't put everything up front because there's still a lot of information up front. All right, now we're gonna hop into the Bible. All right, we have book introductions. They have this beautiful cross, like faded look in the back. Let me get you a little bit closer to the Bible so you can see it. All right. And it covers just the main um, information, just like the normal introductions will. Oh, trying to grab paper here. All right. Then we have like, a, I guess, an outline or a summary over what the book of Genesis is going to cover. Love, love, love that. They have cute little leaves. I was going to call them flowers. Now, we do have headers and they are in the bold it is a two column format now it is not verse by verse and we have this line that will divide the study notes will be down here and your study notes are in bold so you see like the verses the chapter and verses are in bold so you know exactly which verse will have a study note to it and then down below they have this little um bible i'm going to call it a bible this little bible 
that would tell you what you can use, I'm assuming, in like during church. So I, I don't, I never been to a Catholic church, so I don't want to say exactly, but from what I'm reading, I'm guessing that's what that's for. And if I'm wrong, please collect, correct me in the comments below. But look how beautiful this is. That is amazing. Oh yeah, every time you see a cross, it will have a foot, like a, um, a study note. I was going to call it a footnote, a study note down below. And then there's that little Bible. Well, again, matches a little Bible down below. But that is so beautiful. It's like, it's so readable. It's very, very, the paper is just so smooth. I love it. Okay, then we got full articles. This is over the Holy Trinity. Let me just take you off the tripod. I enjoy giving you guys a close-up of the Bible, especially if I'm sharing you the Bible. I want you to be able to get a good, just, just over what you're looking at here. They show you a lot of scriptures talking about the Holy Trinity. Come on through. Now, what is cool about this, when it comes to the Orthodox Bibles, you will have the Apocrypha like mixed in with the actual books. So you won't get like just the Old Testament, the Apocrypha, and then the New Testament. You get them right where they're supposed to be. So that's that's pretty cool. I know this is, I was about to say, I know this is a picture. I can feel the thickness. Now they do have these beautiful pictures sprinkled throughout the Bible. That was one of my favorite, favorite things about this Bible. The pictures are just so beautiful, colorful. They just look so, oh, I don't know, like vintage. They look so beautiful. It really makes you want to, what's wrong, sissy? I'm not opening that. No, I'm not opening that right now. It really has emotion, emotion and feeling to it. It makes you just step back into time. There's another one of those articles. It's, I'm pretty sure all of them will be a full page article whenever they have a discussion. Look, look at all those colors. Oh, I love it. I really, really, really love it. And I'm so, so thankful, Mare, that you knew. You knew the type of Bible I enjoy. And oh, this is just, I, I really, I cannot thank you enough. I have not put this Bible down. Just because I've been waiting for um, it to get rebind, I have not put this Bible down. There's just so much information. I have used this Bible many, many different times for um, the, like the study notes and those full articles. I've, I've really, really enjoyed them. Let alone these beautiful pictures. Now, it is a black letter text, so you won't get no red letter or nothing like that. Okay, I'm not going to show you every single one of these pictures because you have to buy the Bible for yourself, you all. All right. Okay. This is back toward, this is Revelations. All right, this is the end of it. Now there's more helpful reading back here. This is how to read the Bible. There's a few pages of this. And then this is what they would use through 
through their church for a reading. It's beautiful. There's a couple of pages of that. That'd be beautiful to follow. I just don't know how to use it and when to use it. I'm pretty sure if I looked it up, I can I can learn. There's one page I'm trying to get through and I can't separate it with one hand. Oh, come on. Okay, this is the glossary. And it is, I do believe, almost the end of it. Yeah, the glossary. Then it has a morning prayer. So look at this morning prayer. It goes through the Nicene, Nicene Creed, however you say that. They have scriptures to read. These would be all in the morning. You read those in the morning. So beautiful. Prayer at the beginning of the day. All right, and then we have an evening prayer. I love that saying Thanksgiving for the end of the day, asking for forgiveness for whatever happened throughout the day. Then you got scriptures to, to read for the end of the day. It's just, it's beautiful. Such a wonderful, wonderful thing. Then this is the index. And that's about it. Yeah. Then we get some empty, like blank pages through here. And then these full page maps. I think there's only three of them. They all want to stick together. Yeah. I love the colors. I like how they have the scriptures you can look up. Well, not scriptures. They're just really giving you more information about it. This one over here has scriptures. So, so, so beautiful. So, thank you again, Mayor, for sending me this amazing Bible. I love it, and I am so thankful to be able to share it on this channel. I greatly appreciate it. Remember, be a creative tool in our Father's Art Box. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.